everyone, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for today. Today's workout, we get to stay down on the floor on our mats, so I would say get comfortable, but we're still going to be working hard. Exercise number one today is a mountain climber and we're going to slow down the pace for our mountain climbers today. Really focus on the core control. So come into your plank position, hands underneath your shoulders, core pulls in tight. Body makes a nice straight line, just like when you're about to do a push-up. We're going to bring our knees toward our chest one at a time, so as close up as you can. Tap that toe down. Bring it back. That's half. So right and left is going to equal one rep. One. Two. Lift and bring it back. Three. Feel that core working. Four. Five, really focus on how high that knee goes. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. So stretch it out, stretch out those arms for a second. We're gonna go into a side plank leg lift. We're gonna start with the left side so again wrist should try and stay below your shoulder stack your feet one on top of the other core pulls in tight and lift one two three four five pull that core in six seven eight Nine, ten, halfway done. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Try and keep those hips still. Nineteen, twenty. We're gonna do the other side, but first we're gonna go into our bellies and do some supermans. So arms and chest are gonna lift, knees and heels are gonna lift. Legs stay straight, core stays engaged, and we're gonna squeeze it upward. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it up there for a second. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so side plank, leg lift to the other side. Right arm this time. Again, hand beneath your shoulder. Core pulls in tight. I did these for my elbow. You can do it from your elbow too. That's a good modification, especially if you have any wrist issues. So much tougher and than me. And lift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's the last one. Good job keeping your hip up high. Thank you. Nice. Next we have the ups. Yeah, you on those, any planks, you really want to try and keep your hips and your core in the same position. So that's a secret to good form and really working your core. So for the V-ups, core pulls in tight, arms reach over your head, shoulder blades lift, 
legs reach out, and we're gonna reach toward our toes. Whoops. Bring it down. If you can't bring your back all the way up off the floor and keep it straight, that's okay. Keep the low back on the floor. Reach toward the toes. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway down. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Next we have leg series, starting with the right leg. So we'll stretch our right leg out first. Core pulls in tight, hands reach out at your sides, hips lift into a bridge. Extend the right leg. We're gonna do lifts. So this is three parts. Two, three, try and keep the hips in that same plane. Four, five, Six, press through the standing heel. Eight, nine, ten. From here, drop the, drop the butt toward the ground and lift as high as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Combine it. Down, up, drop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, same thing on the other side. So, right leg plants this time, lift, left leg is gonna extend. Core pulls in tight, weight in the heels. Here we go. One, two, three. Keep those hips lifted. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Drop it down. One, two. Core stays tight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. Combine it. Two. Down. Lift. Drop. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Try and keep those hips lifting high. Nine, ten. Okay, bring it down. Next we have heel tap planks. So we're going to turn it over. Core pulls in tight. Coming to your plank position. We're going to reach over our back and tap opposite arm to opposite leg. So bend that left heel, tap it. That's one. Two. Pull the core in to stabilize yourself. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I like how the paper moves when you breathe. Eight. <laughs> Nine. I did it on purpose that time. <laughs> Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. 19, 20. Okay, last two exercises. Leg lift, hip lift. So lay on your back, core pulls tight. Um, you have two options. 
You can keep your hands and your head down on the floor or lift. Extend the arms for a little extra work in the upper abs. We're going to lift and hip lift. So feet stay together. Hips lift off the mat too. It's a controlled move movement. If you feel like you're using momentum, pause and then lift. Three. Four. Five. Six. Sometimes when you slow it down, you're really demanding a lot extra from your muscles. That was eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Last one. Twenty. Last exercise. We're back to mountain climbers. And this time you can choose to keep it slow or you can pick up the pace. So core pulls in tight. Back to plank. Right and left still equals one, two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, guys. That's one round of my workout today, so I hope you enjoy it. Check out my blog for the workout breakdown, plus over 400 other free home workouts. Everything I've done to get in shape and stay in shape. So I hope to see you there, benderfitness.com. Have a great night, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow with a new workout. Bye.